think that I have this down perfectly. I still like give myself grace because I know when you have kids, you just never know what's going to happen. Or even if you don't, you, you know, something comes up and in the middle of your day, you go do it or anything like that. It doesn't have to just be kids because I realize not all of us have children. Um, I'm scattered. I'm unorganized. I'm not. <laughs> I just find a way to make it work. So my morning routine has truly been um, like a little bit of a godsend for me. Um, I wake up early. My kids go to sleep pretty um, early. Oh, I they were pretty. Um, so I find it best for me to wake up before my children if possible. So normally that's around five o'clock in the morning. Um, and I know some people aren't morning people. So if you can find any sort of me time during the day, I highly recommend it. Uh, my my like perfect morning is five to seven thirty or five to seven in the morning by myself, like my husband and I. Um, he usually leaves the house around the same time. But as a ranch wife, we also have zero routine and zero schedule. So like my husband will come in at a random time. He knows every Wednesday we're probably gonna have lunch late because it's new release Wednesday. Don't expect a certain thing or like new when any restocks or anything. So one thing that I do want to point out is communication within your family to know that you need some time to um, work your routine or work your business is super important. But my me time, so every single morning, um, it just starts me off on a positive foot normally. Um, and it also just helps me find patience. And one thing that I think all of us need highly right now is patience just because we're all dealing with the same struggles of you know like new releases and restocks and the website and things like that so i honestly believe that when i do things in the morning and find that patience early it's huge so my morning i wake up um put on my zaya that's my very first thing i do put in my contacts and then i make my husband his coffee and i make myself my pre-workout so when I'm making my pre-workout, um, I sit down and I do personal development every morning and I don't set a timer or anything. I just read as much as I feel like I need to. Um, and then I, I do a little bit of scrolling in my groups and stuff like that. But then I also um, do uh, list my affirmations every single morning and then I do um, gratitude every morning and then my dreams. So that's like my, no matter what, I'm gonna do that before I get my workout in while I'm drinking my pre-workout. And then um, my workout happens. I try to get that done in the morning. And then after that, I just work little tiny pockets of time to try to help my team, which is like consistently growing. And my team, they're rock stars and help each other out a lot. But also as a leader, we all know that, um, you're the leader, right? So um, that's my perfect, perfect morning. And it, I'm not saying that happens every single time, but um, one thing that I have been doing for the past, I don't know, three months or so, um, I do my personal development and then I go live every day in my, try to do every day in my VIP group. Um, and that's one thing that has helped me stay accountable with my me time and my personal development because we've talked about personal development in many, um, team calls that how important it really is. And it's just helped me stay accountable. And I've been super consistent in that just, by, um, and you don't even have to go live, but I, I really think that people have been coming back to my VIP group all the time because they know that I'm gonna do this in the morning. And I get messages and they were like, did you go live this morning? Did I miss it? And I don't even know that they're watching. Like they never comment. I never see that they're doing it. But the more you show up consistently in your VIP group, which we learned last week, that one was, I loved that call last week because I'm a big believer in growing your VIP group and just the close knit family that you can do in there really has um, brought on like better customers and just people that I don't even know will be like, just so you know, your live really hit me this morning. And it doesn't even have anything to do with Zaya. Our, my books don't like, I don't even talk about Zaya hardly on there. So that's one thing that um, as far as consistency has helped. And it's only been like, like I said, like, I don't know, this is our third or fourth book, I think, but every day that I've went live. So I think that's a really cool thing that um, would help you guys stay consistent as it has helped me. Um, let's see. I always talk about filling your cup. I promised myself that no matter what, no matter how busy I got with Zaya, um, just so you guys, I, I do Zaya. I also have a fit tribe. And then I also have a boutique out of my kitchen that um, just a women's, for real. I don't, my house is tiny. I don't have an office. Um, so I do sell regular clothes too. So I know that we all are super, super busy. Um, but I promised myself that no matter how busy I got, I was always going to 
get my workout in and do my personal development and all of that stuff because the more confident and like positive you are in yourself, the better you're going to build your team. So um, always fill your cup. I I know some people feel like, especially mothers, if you're in here, um, it's always like, I'm going to help my team first. I'm going to help my kids first. I'm going to help my husband first. But if you're exhausted and doing the things that aren't filling your cup and making you the best you, then that's your consistency is going to not be where it needs to be. And you're not going to show up for um, the people who really, really need you, which in this business, we're trying to build a team. So you want to show up best for you, the team that you um, can. So um, try not to push away that time, that me time. So that's my number one <laughs> consistency thing that I, I just don't find that selfish at all. Um, all of this like routine life and consistency um, has helped in my Zaya business. Um, I, when I first started, my sales were good, like pretty good. There was a few months um, that were a little bit lower when I first started, but I didn't sign a rep until like month seven or eight. And I know I talked talk to Sid a lot about it and I, she just kept telling me, just keep showing up, keep showing up, you're doing all the things. She's like, I don't necessarily know why, but someday some like someone's gonna bite. So one thing that you guys really, like that helped me a ton was to always be in contact with Sid is my upline and Cassidy and Erica, like, don't be afraid to use your uplines um, to like get new ideas and to figure out other ways, um, like consistently being in contact with them. I think it was huge and helped me and I didn't really ever get like down about it. I was still having so much fun. I was still getting the sales and getting the free clothes and all those things. So it was, um, I wasn't like annoyed. I was just like, what in the world do I need to do different? Because then one day you just never know and it might just click. And then it was, I don't know, that was, what month is it, June? And then all of a sudden, you know, things can significantly change quickly. So what I'm just being in contact um, and just being vulnerable, I guess, and relying on the people that want to help you grow to do that and not be afraid to ask questions. Um, let's see. Um, where are my notes? Oh, I'm sweating. My eyebrows are sweating. Um, anyway, that's pretty much like my tidbit. I, I told Sid, I'm like, this probably will be super, super short. But um, as far as pockets of time go, we've already talked about the IPAs. And one thing that I am like, unicorn moments, I call them, are anytime I get to work my business or my, all three of my kids are sleeping at the same time or they're outside not fighting. So if you have a unicorn moment, and you have, you know, like two minutes even, send a message out. Um, always ask people to be, you know, reps or all those things that we already know about, but just being able to consistently do it and not get discouraged, I think is really, really, um, ouch. sorry, really important. So stay grounded, um, stay accountable for you, your community and your, your team. Um, and ask for help was the last thing. One of my ouch, team quotes that I tell myself is over time as um, the daily routines become second nature, discipline morphs. And I think that's kind of what is this comes down to after a while is just that being disciplined in finding your me time and the personal development and just growing as a leader first and then or a Zaya rep or whatever you want and then building off of that. So and then it turns into a habit. So those things are things that I do without a doubt every single day. And obviously the consistency as far as like parties and stuff, but I think, I don't think that's really where I was supposed to go. Cause I think we've had party talks before. So just showing up consistently every single day, I guess. Is that what you were kind of wanting Erica? I don't know how long you want me to talk, but I don't have a whole lot to say. You're fine. Um whatever questions people have, but I think that I have a, like my biggest question is, um, so when you do find those pockets of time, like what are your priorities? What do you kind of tackle first? I think a lot of us go to our Facebook messenger or yeah, things like yeah. that. And I would just love to know like how you utilize, like say, you know, you're going to have five minutes or for 10 <laughs> minutes. Like what it, you know, what do you do? Um, the very, normally the very, very first thing that I do is to go into my just my direct downline to see if they have any questions for me because most of the time they're really good about like tagging me if they have a specific question so i usually go to my just my downline one 
Um, to be honest, the director one gets pushed to a side a little bit because I can just, those just go off all day and I know that everyone else maybe can answer those. So it's normally my um, direct downline and then any parties that I have going on. And then if I don't have parties, then I, I try to post in my VIP group quite a bit though. Like everybody knows that they're gonna get some, excuse my French, but like shit show post of the day because that's just how I roll. So I always am checking in with my VIP group like anywhere from like two to three times a day and always doing my downline. Um, I do, I schedule out my posts for the most part. So that is kind of easier until, and the notifications on Facebook are really screwing with me and I think they are with everybody. So that's been hard because they show up like four days late or, you know, and you never really know. But for me, cause I'm trying to rank right now. Like that's my big goal um, for our team. So pouring into my downline right now for me is my number, my number one go-to. Sorry, I have a fussy Oh, month two. I see Nikki. I feel like I'm in I'm in month two and I'm like, um, yeah, month two. Corbin, you can, you can not have a rep for a long time and still have the sales. And you just have to remember that this is supposed to be fun. And listening to Zaya family's Instagram story today, where he talked about that they don't want this to be a negative experience whatsoever. And I honestly have never felt that because I've just believed that um, if I just keep showing up, good things will happen and come of it. So you just, I mean, month two isn't very long and I understand that it can be frustrating probably, but um, just rely on your, your upline, have them help you out as much as you can. Try not to get discouraged and just find new ways to have fun with it. I feel like that's really important what you just said. I think having fun and I, I always try and do like at least one thing a day that is fun. Um, whether it's, you know, taking a new photo or making a TikTok or um, like whatever it is. I just think doing that because we, it can become really um, redundant just doing the same things over and over or putting out fires or try and stay off of the chats if you can. Yeah. Did the, anything you'd add to that or questions that you have or something you know Amanda does really well that you want her to talk about? <laughs> I know sometimes when I get home from work now, like I'll just put on some Zaya clothes and I'll do some photo shoots. Like that's just something that I've been enjoying and doing and I've never done that before in my life. Like it's been out of my comfort zone, but I have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, that's like my, when I go live in my VIP group, it seriously brings me so much joy. Like I'll be, I talk to my sister about it a lot. And I'm just like, I am just in kind of a funk today. I think I'm just going to go live and show off some clothes and talk to them. And I literally feel like they're just my family <laughs> and that makes me really happy to do. So I recommend just literally building the, like the strongest connection you can in your VIP group and with your downline and like, just treat them like family and they'll just give you all the love that love that they can and it really it's just a really fun thing <laughs> looking at my stuff see if I missed anything but and I don't know how you guys necessarily like for me I stay at home all day so it's not like like when you guys have full full-time jobs it's probably maybe harder to find like little pockets of your time but I know a lot of successful women that have still found you know, your 15 minute break that you might not really ask for at work, but you really should get that 15 minutes. Like it's, it's like legal for you to get those 15 minutes and you're not getting it. Maybe ask your boss, like we're supposed to get 15 minutes. Can I please get it and do what you can, like make a list. I do, I do also to do lists like every day when I do my gratitude and all that jazz, there's always this thing on the bottom, a blank thing that's completely clean every single day. Or I try to, you know, and scratch those off. So whether it's Zaya filled or not, it feels good to get stuff off your plate. So. Any other questions or we can totally wrap up to ladies. There's no time. Oh, Amanda, we got a question in the chat. Um, I'm private message everyone that's in a group party. Um, like at the beginning and then at the end, even if they don't order, I just thank them for 
um, joining my group. And then I always just put it in there. I um, share my link to my the VIP group. And then also when I do my, I have been getting most of them when I do follow-ups from people that actually order. Um, I go through my email, thank them, ask them how they like their products, whatever. And then I always um, put in, uh, I have whatever dates open, if you guys want to host a party and earn your own free stuff because so-and-so got some great rewards from your help or whatever. And then I always put my link at the very bottom of the email and I get a lot um, from there. And then I'm not even sure. I think mine's at like, I don't know, 400 or something. And I think you can, you're always trying to expand, but you can always ask. I also do, um, yeah, that's what I was just going to say, extra points in the giveaway. Um, I know one of my downlines, Becky's on here. She actually gives like a $5 gift card if you join and within like, you know, within that month to use it, then um, you get to have a $5 gift certificate. But I do, I always do a uh, please join a giveaway for an extra point and then they just have to screenshot that they asked to join. So that's a pretty, if they don't do it, they don't, I mean, they don't do it, but I do usually give them one more chance when I close out the party. But anyone that orders for sure, like hound them a little bit until they get in your party for sure. You miss out on some sales there if they like their product anyway, which most of them do. I'm apparently super boring. I hope I didn't put you guys to sleep like rivers drooling on my shoulder right now. <laughs> but. So, um. Yeah. Amanda, do you, you might know how to do this, but um, do you know how to do, make your VAP group a recommended group of parties? I only know how to do it from my computer. I don't know if you know on the, how to do it on the phone. Oh, or Kayla, you I, can talk on that. I've actually seen that before and I don't think I've really done it. I've, I have a page just in case like I get locked out and I know that I can link that, but I never have actually put that on there. Then uh, can you tag everyone in that? Is that like a post? Can you tag everyone in the party and like, I've never so, done it. So what I do is um, I actually have never done it from my phone. So I can't speak on that part of it um, because I just don't do, I'm, I maintain Zaya on my phone, but I don't actually like work Zaya on my phone. So um, when you set up the group page, I always do groups because I just find that to be easiest for me. That way I can schedule everything. But um, when you're going through, you know how it like walks you through setting up the group? It will recommend, it'll ask you, do you want to recommend any groups on this page? And I always recommend my VIP group. It's called Keeping Up With Caitlin. So it's not really anything like Zaya related um, in the title. So. I think that also piques their interest like, Ooh, what's this about? And it does let you um, write a little post about it. And I just always say like um, to keep up to date on all my giveaways, new weekly new releases and restocks, please feel free to join my VIP group. And, and then at the end I said, and I always say like, there might also be an extra point into the giveaway if you do. So I kind of leave like, you know, some mystery in there but I've always gotten it really great. And then if somebody's just not willing to order, like maybe it's just not the right time in the party when I'm reaching out to them, then what I do is I'm like, okay, well, would you like to join my group just so you can stay up to date on all my giveaways? Because I am one, I, I regularly just give back to my group and I, I will be notorious for giving items for like free. I'm like, oh, post your favorite selfie below for a chance at a half off item, you know? So that also kind of gets them in there. And I've actually gotten a lot of orders on non-discounted items um, because they're already in there and they're constantly seeing things. That's what I was gonna say. Like the more that consistently I post just about like doing my live every day and things like that where people are feeling connected to me, I've had a lot more just random sales than feeling like I don't need to constantly like give, give, give or draw them in like just from sales too which has been nice because sometimes it can get overwhelming. Like you feel like that's all they're there for is for a good deal. But if you like just build that connection, like you said, like get them actually like interested in your VIP, then they'll just want to support you. 
And I also do a rate. I don't know if this is like even related, but speaking on it, because I do most of my sales out of VIP groups mm -hmm. or out of my VIP group, I um, struggle with booking parties. So it's on my goal for next month. I already have one and that's like amazing for me. <laughs> like, I don't know why I just, when it comes to parties, it's just not my thing, but my VIP group is like solid. And I also spend a lot of time adding people. Like I joined 50 people this month into my VIP group and it's 50 people that have never heard about Zaya. So, um, but I also do a regular giveaway about like, Hey, post a screenshot below that your notifications are, are on all posts with Facebook being Facebook. It doesn't technically matter these days. I don't know. Cause they could get that notification days later, but that's also a good way because there's also, there's a lot of people that join groups that have no idea they're even in the group. And if their notifications aren't on, they're not even seeing the posts. So I don't know. Uh, so what PD books do you recommend? Seriously, the one that got me just all jazzed up about it is um, You Are a Badass. And I, I, there's no other books really that um, that are on the list in Zaya Fire other than right now I'm reading um, Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. And it's totally out of my comfort zone because it's, um, it's a very like God-related book. So it's hard for me to talk about and I don't even know if it was really right to do, but I needed it at this, this time in my life. So that's the one I'm doing. And I've had more people reach out for that, that just for like stepping out of the normal personal development, like book style, I guess. So that one is really good. I'm not done yet. And it's one that I would have to read like 40 times to even understand like a quarter of it. But, um, and then we also read, oh, um, own your every day, which was really good because she's this, I can't even remember what her name is. Um, Cassidy, I, I sent it Jordan, to you. Jordan, okay, Lee Jordan Lee Dooley. Yeah. She's super, like, just seems really humble. And she has a really good podcast called She, that she's really good to listen to also. And I do reach out in Facebook parties. I mean, if there's like a hundred of them, to be honest, no, I kind of creep at them and be like, you look like you could really rock some Zaya. And then I send, you know, I'm a bad creeper. I all the time. Um, but I do try to reach out in the Facebook parties because sometimes it helps. And they're like, oh, yes, I've been trying. I've been meaning to. I've been busy, whatever. So following up, even though that they aren't active helps because we all know how busy we are. Like I've been in parties. And I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't get ordered. Like I'm just as guilty in some, you know, parties of my own, even that I posted for other people. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I think following up with them is really big. I always try to remember or remind people about that too. Like my downline when they're like, well, I just, I feel annoying sending messages, you know, to my, the people that are part of the party. And I'm like, how many times have you been a part of a party and you intended on ordering and you didn't until that hostess messaged you and said something and you were like, Oh crap, like I'm going to order right now. So you just yeah. got to keep that in mind when you're like, Oh, I don't know if I should message people. I don't want to be annoying. Like it's not annoying to 95% of people. And if they're annoyed by you, then bye. Right. right. They're just not going to answer you. So <laughs> yeah. in my opinion, it's like, okay, well I tried. Oh, yeah. Any other questions? Is he sleeping? Seriously, Amanda? Like, how did you do that? What? Come take my children. Oh, I don't know. Teething. Oh. Probably. More than anything. I don't know. I'm sweating my face off, to be honest. She's... <laughs> I bet. Like, sweating. It's running down my boobs right now. Sexy. Straight yeah. up. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Okay. Not part of my routine, so lady. <laughs> what? I said showering is not part of my routine, so <laughs> it's it's not good. And my husband's gone all week, so we'll see when I get my shower in. I think we all have our Bengal tanks on today. No. I had mine on this morning <laughs> and last night and yesterday. Oh, I love it. Time. Well, you ladies have a good night. Give Amanda some love. And we'll chat with you ladies soon. Bye.